I can bring this down to the bottom and this is negative 1 over this is 1 plus x squared and x squared. Wait. I thought we can use I thought we could use the power rule. But I get negative 1 on the top right here. Earlier we have negative 2x. What's the deal? Is that wrong? That's wrong, huh? It must be wrong. The easy way is always right, huh? No. Definition is much better. Stalled it. So here's the deal. How can we come up with the 2x? Well, when calculus. So we have to think the derivative. Here's the deal. When we put the negative 1 to the front and the minus 1, we just do the power on the outside. And the idea is, you also have to look at inside to see what the function is and multiply the derivative of that. So you see the derivative of this? The derivative of 1 is 0, but the derivative of a 2x, the derivative of x squared is 2x. So we have to multiply this by 2x. So this is the so-called chain rule part. So you see, if we multiply by 2x, all together, we have the answer that we have earlier. So hopefully you guys can see why we need the definition of derivative. It tells you what has to be right. If you want to use the shortcut, well, earlier without seeing that, then we'll miss the 2x.